right guys today i'm heading to hopefully the berry islands but first i'm heading to uh register at bimini probably spend a day there and then go to the berry islands hopefully if weather permits and i'm planning to do some uh, deep dropping with the new electric reel i fished there before but only at 30 to 40 feet but never at 800 to a thousand feet so let's see how that goes right now it's one o'clock in the morning i should be in the water by five in the morning the weather is not the best going so i am going to get some rough seas but this is the only time and while i'm over there it's going to be okay seas it's not going to be the best either but it's going to be a doable weather i think no thunderstorms all right let's see how it goes six in the morning so i got about 50 some miles to go and the ocean is kind of rough gonna be a long ride. Eight in the morning supposed to come down. Right now it's 14 miles per hour winds. Later it's gonna come down to 11 miles per hour wind. So that's why it's gonna go from three foot seas to two foot seas. I'm doing about eight to nine miles per hour. If I do nine miles in one hour, by the time the sun rises I'm ahead nine miles instead of waiting at the marina. Uh, I'm ahead nine miles and I'm saving a lot of fuel going at this speed. I'm doing about 3.8 miles per gallon at this speed. So I get very good fuel economy. I haven't slept nothing. So I left my house about one in the morning. I tried to sleep, but I couldn't go to sleep much anticipation of crossing the ocean. Alright, I'm gonna shut this light off. about seven in the morning the weather looks good but the ocean is uh, still rough a little bit halfway to Bimini the weather should get better the sun is about to come up already the best day I'm gonna stay in the Bahama Islands about four to five days weather should be better coming down to Florida later on because the wind is gonna be pushing towards Florida so it's gonna help navigate a lot easier instead of right now I'm going against uh, the waves but it's getting a little better.
definitely about 10 miles per hour is not the fastest way to get there. Uh, but it's better than nothing. 21 feet is not big at all. It's a very small boat. Uh, but the good thing is that I'm not getting wet. There's a lot of ocean spray from the waves. And it's a little chilly. It's not that hot right now because it's morning. I would really would love to go to sleep right now. But all I can do is just go to the beaver and just relax my back for about a couple of minutes. But I cannot fall asleep. Just gotta keep vigilant. I already ate a breakfast sandwich. I got a lunch sandwich for about two more hours. I'll be eating lunch early. You know, they have talked about on the news about this sargassum. Look at it. You see it right there? There's plenty of sargassum. Is that seaweed that is coming down from Africa? They said that this year, there's gonna be so much of it that if you get caught in the middle of the sargassum, your boat may stop because you won't be able to go forward. Only big boats will be able to. Look at this. Look at that. Look at that patches. Every year there's sargassum. There it is. See right over there. Plenty of it. But this year there's more than normal. Uh, big amounts are coming from Africa. So if you're going to navigate, keep track of that. See if you hear anything on the news. Because it's supposed to be here this year. And I'm seeing plenty of it already. Usually you always see sargassum in these areas. Some seaweed. That's what they call it. Sargassum. But this year we expect a lot more and like I said this patches big big passion it could stop a small vessel from navigating bigger boats like freighters and uh, cruise ships nothing will happen to those but small navigations you know both between 20 to 30 feet maybe 40 will have a hard time navigating through that sargassum it's gonna be thick so it's gonna slow down your boat until it stops Keep an eye on the news on that because I'm seeing a lot of it right now and it's everywhere. Look, it's right there. Look at that. And there are thick patches everywhere. Something else to worry about while you're navigating. Are uh, you worry about the thunderstorms? waves, the temperature, now you gotta worry about sargassum. Especially if you have a jet boat, like I used to have a jet boat in the past, um, the jet boat used to get clogged all the time, so I have to clean up the port every 10 to 15 minutes because I'll get so much weed on it that I didn't get any propulsion out of it. faster right now it's 18 miles per hour it has come down a lot so hopefully it stays like this so I can go about 18 miles per hour that's doubling the speed now the ocean has come down just a little bit more then I'm able to do a little bit faster Doing almost 20, but I got a 
times when it works. It's just like patches of waves. Sometimes it comes out a little bit and then it starts all over again. color of that water right there. Incredible. I gotta calculate to see if I have enough fuel. Uh, so if I decide to go to the Berry Islands so I can have enough fuel to go there. I spend 31.4 uh, gallons to get here. I still got about 69 gallons left. All right, so this is where I always anchor. Got a sailboat here, got two sailboats. How's it going, buddy?
prop clear. How's it going, buddy? Good, good. Thanks for watching. Thank you, man. beautiful is this here
All right, guys, there's more to come to this trip. But now I'm going to take a little break. And if you like this video, please thumb it up. Thank you for watching and always navigate safe.